Hey guys, welcome back to our playthrough of Jurassic Park Trespasser. As you can see, I've got a bit of a raptor problem. Six left. Ugh, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with it with only six rounds. All right, so I'd better be really cautious with ammo and serve as much as I can. Uh, if I shoot each raptor twice, that might kill them. But damn, this is not going to be easy. This part of the game is really reminding me of Shadows of the Empire. I feel like I'm Dash Rendar trying not to fall down that canyon while stormtroopers are shooting at me. <laughs> okay, uh... Alright. Six rounds. Oh. Whoa, don't drop that. Whoa, I don't want to fall. Oh, we ran out of... Oh, we've got to go down there. Okay, well... For what it's worth, I need to probably... Get some melee weapons down there. Just in case. Come on in. You got this. It's a rock. It's not that difficult. Canteen. Okay, a helmet. Alright. Alright, so... If I run out of ammo, I can at least attempt to bludgeon them to death. Of course, there's all kinds of skeleton stuff down there. That might be useful. All right, he's trying to attack me from the side. You know Six what? left. All right, yeah, turn around. Turn around every time a raptor's trying to kill me. <gasps> Don't die, and Ooh. Six left. Where are you at? Five. Four. All right, we got one. Four rounds left. Oh, we gotta be really careful. Four bullets. They're over here. I know they're just going to attempt to... Oh, he killed one of them. I... Can they kill each other? I guess so. And he's stuck. Three. Oh, two rounds to spare. Not bad. Okay. Awesome. <sighs> More carcass stuff. This is... This game is, like, insane. Oh. Okay. Don't trip over the helmet, Ann. Where are we? We're in some sort of gorge. Don't recognize this from any of the movies. Biosyn. So these guys... Oh, these were spies coming to infiltrate Sorna. Oh, that's insane. Six rounds. All right, that'll come in handy. What else we got? Two shots. Okay, that's worthless. Feels full. Okay, I was all worried about those raptors Six when there was... Left. All this ammo over here. But wow, okay, so Biosyn crashed their helicopter. I've seen screenshots of this on the internet, but I've never actually... I wonder if there's, like, any sort of information on what went down as far as this little mission that they undertook went. What did take this helicopter down? A T-Rex or something? They crashed in the gorge, and obviously, I guess these raptors did them in. Maybe a T-Rex fell down this gorge. That's what the carcass is there for. Or maybe not a T-Rex, maybe an Albertosaur or something. That's pretty awesome, though. So, a couple of Biosyn lackeys, I guess, managed to find out about Isla Sorna and then promptly die. That's pretty wild. Whoa. I just threw my gun out of my hand. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Jeez. The lore building in Trespasser is extremely fascinating. Because we don't even learn about Biosyn in the movies outside of Lewis Dotson and Nedry's, like, conversation. Biosyn, and I'll be honest with you, I think that that would be prime 
for mining for Jurassic World 3. The only problem is Cameron Thor, the actor that portrayed Lewis Dotson in the first Jurassic Park movie, is in prison right now for, you know, some pretty bad sexual misconduct involving, uh, well, he did something terrible. But, you know, like, recast him. Let's. I, I would really like to see Biosyn come back, especially if we're talking about you know, companies being able to manufacture dinosaurs all over the planet. It'd be really interesting. Alright, let's line this up. Four. Three. Well, now I've only got two rounds. Feels full. Okay, let me... Two shots. Only two left. Let's see if we can, like, actually line this up. So I hear more of them. There we go. Alright, guys. Where are y'all at? Where are you at? Very ominous. I don't see any more. Hmm. The ambiance and trespassers is really impressive too. Although I w whoa, 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 whoa! It's almost like they know you're pointing a weapon at them. Did she say empty? Empty. Yeah, she did. So much for our first pistol. It's useless. All right, so we've killed quite a few raptors already. Uh, all the tiger-striped variety. Ooh, got a bit of a King Kong log going over there. Man, this is a massive game. This game in 1998 had to play horribly. Because I just don't understand. Whoa. I just don't understand how this would have worked back in the day. This is too, this is, it is, seriously, it's, I think it was a little too ambitious. That's where we just were. Real time, like in the game, I was down there and I climbed all the way up here. This isn't like Womp's Fortress or whatever in Super Mario 64. This is a little more complicated than that, so. Okay, obviously we have to go across. Oh, kind of a bad looking texture. All right. Oh, be careful, Anne. Anne, don't you dare fall. Oh my god, I didn't save. Anne, don't fall. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Alright, so... This game, though, back in the day, I, I can only imagine this being... Terrible. I will say this, though. Hasn't been used. In, in 2018, or whenever you're watching this, 2019... I could have done that a little bit better, but the game's, it's got its issues, but I honestly really like it so far. This might be one of my all-time favorite Jurassic Park games, and that's saying a lot because I've played almost all of them. Uh, Rampage Edition for the Sega Genesis is honestly one of my favorite games ever. But I'll tell you, dude, really, like... When this game is going properly, and when you're listening to Hammond talk about everything, it's a wonder. It's, it's pretty special. Okay, so looks like I'm going to have to navigate my way up this hill. What is this that I'm even climbing on top of? Is this like man-made? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, was I supposed to do that? I don't know. All right, let's try to jump. Nope, oh, can't do that either. Maybe I can go over here and there's like a... Ah! More locations to do stuff. Let's see, uh, jump. Nope, can't make it over that way. Come on, get up there, Ann. Get up there. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. 
All right, now we're making progress. And looks like we gotta go up here. Uh, maybe? Oh, don't fall. This is a really weird platforming section. Bunny hop. Nope, okay, this is... <laughs> this is honestly really annoying, actually. Okay. I was just commenting on how great you were, Trespasser. <laughs> nope. Okay, this is a pain to even attempt. Jeez. Focus. 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 Oh, yeah. Progress. Progress. Cannot be defeated. Absolute power. I will make it up there. Yes. Can't trip me up. Go on over here. Oh my god, I am climbing this thing like nobody's business. <laughs> yes! Oh yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> After all that struggling, all you have to do is believe. That is the secret to Trespasser. Okay, now, uh, now what the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, a Parasaur. And a T-Rex? Or was that one of those Albertosaurs? Well, that's beautiful. Ooh, a volcano or a mountain or something. Okay, so, ooh, power lines? All right, what... What do I do? I'm not going back down there. Oh, I don't... I don't think I can go anywhere else. Do I have to go over here and, like... Maybe there's a way to climb down. Is there? Okay, just in case. Let's... Let's uh, do this right. I should have done this at the log, but I didn't. Uh, quote from Jurassic Park 2. Ah, you make me angry, game. Uh, how about... Uh, there we go. All right. Now... What are we supposed to do? That looks dangerous. Um, I don't really feel that comfortable. Whoa. Okay, I don't... Whoa, is that water? Oh, go for it! Ah! Ooh, that hurt me. But I lived. You're supposed to do like an Arnold Schwarzenegger predator jump. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I hear footsteps. The Albertosaur. It is coming. And there's a raptor over there, I think. Or I think that's a raptor. What is that? Uh-oh. Look out, man. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Okay. Should I... Huh. All right, I'm gonna go for About it. half a clip. Yes! No one can defeat the ingenuity of man. <laughs> okay, that raptor's gonna sneak up on me. That's right. Back up. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna take him out with a huh. weapon. About half a clip. All right. That browning came in like really good use. <laughs> I killed that thing. Look at that. That's awesome. Whoa. Half gone. Oh yeah, we're experts now. We saved your life, Parasaurolophus. Uh oh. 
Yeah, I'm going to get out of here before that other raptor comes. She said I was half gone with the clip. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, let's see. Fuel. Can I trip him up? Can I, like, roll it down the hill or something? Oh, I just pushed myself forward. That was not a good idea. Uh, that's a rock. Power lines. Oh, there's raptors all over the place. Are there any weapons? Almost out. Back up, man. You don't want none. Nearly empty. Nearly empty. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, this is not good. Come on in. There you go. Climb that hill. Let's see, fragile. I thought that said explosive for a second. All right, we got some weapons. Backup box. Feels full. All right, we're gonna use this. I don't want to get the sledgehammer. That doesn't sound very reliable. Oh, you're coming after me, are you? I just killed an Albertosaur. So, yeah, yeah. Alright. And he's looking at me. I really probably should have killed him. Alright, back up, man. Feels about half. Got him. Almost out. These Nearly automatic empty. pistols are really annoying, honestly. 20. 20 what, Hammond? Talk to me. Tell me the something. The jungle canopy hung over us. There was an utter silence. Far away I could hear a jeep engine idling. Almost out. This game is really immersive. Once you start playing it for a little while, you just get sucked into it. Okay. Get up to the land. Or not. Maybe, uh, is there a way for me to climb up? Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, come on. I want to check everything out. I don't want to miss anything, you know what I mean? Um, there's got to be something in that truck. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. What does that say? Portland Construction. Hmm. Not familiar with... Okay. Uh, didn't appear to be anything around the truck, but... Whoa! Is that like a passenger plane? That's not like commercial, is it? We've got to check that out. This is pre-JP3, too, so... Maybe they were influenced by this a little bit? Uh, maybe not. Let's go check that out. Come on, there we go. Feels full. Full. Excellent. 18. Oh, it's just the numbers of the power lines. Alright, let's check out this plane. Um... That looks like it. Is it going to let me get up there? Yeah. Okay. I have heard rumors of, like, a drug smuggling plane that crashed on Isla Sorna. So this is the second aircraft that we've seen crash down here. But is that what this is? Let's see if... Pilot died in the plane. There's a skull and everything. All right, so where did that AK-47 go? Hasn't been used. It's got a drum. Sweet. All right, let's put it above our heads so we don't hit anything. Oh, and of course we still hit something. 
All right, well, we've got a much better weapon now. Nearly empty. Oh, nearly empty? Let's just pick this one up. This one had something in it. Hasn't been used. Oh, yeah. Now we are ready to traverse Site B. One of the things that's really interesting about this game that I've noticed so far is just the big... What is that? The big open environments of nothingness. What's that black thing? Alright, let's follow this road and check out what that is. God, look at this place. It's just massive. No way. Is that what I think it is? Hold on a minute. This is... Oh, is it going to let me walk down here? Invisible wall. And I dropped my gun. Hasn't been used. Is that the monolith from 2001? Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> that, okay. Hasn't been used. If that's what that actually is, that is a really cool Easter egg. <laughs> you should okay. be able to actually go touch it, though. That's, that's crazy. If not, then there's just like a black stone door thing just in the, maybe it's a glitch. <laughs> that was, that's interesting. All right, so we obviously have to progress this way, then, if there's an invisible wall back there. Okay. Would make sense, though, with Spielberg and uh, Stanley Kubrick being pretty good friends. All right. More raptors. More para. Full clip. Yeah, you, you guys are dead. Oh, are they going to go after the... You gonna go after me or the Parasaur? Make up your mind. You know what? I might as well just leave them be. Full clip. Whoa, what happened to my other gun? Uh, wise man say not leave gun laying around while on Isla Sorna. Where's that gun? I was over here looking at this weird black thing, and I must have dropped it, but I don't see it. Okay, that's one thing that is annoying. You, you shouldn't... Oh, there it is. It's laying on the ground over there. It's really rough to just know that something can get knocked out of Full your clip. hand. Honestly, uh, I, it is immersive, like when a raptor yanks it from you or something. That's cool, even though it's, you know, a little scary. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can bunny hop down here. Follow the power lines. Look above you, Anne. There should be power lines. We released the first Raptor on April 22nd, 1985. It wandered back and forth near the wall for four minutes and 22 seconds before hearing a noise which drew it further off into the brush. Now, obviously, nowadays, Velociraptor was definitely not released in 1985 because the By first... By 1987, oh. the first of them had reached full size. The ecosystem of another era began to reassert itself. 1986 was when Hammond and Lockwood cloned the first dinosaur, which was a Triceratops. Um, also... I find it kind of odd that they would write down... Feels about half. They cloned a raptor in 85? Was that like one of the first dinos? Either way... In the jungle, the forest, and the mountain, three raptor tribes staked out territory. Albertosaurs and seven T-Rex chose their dominions. 
uneasy waters drawn around forest ridges and ponds. All right, so the three raptor tribes. Obviously, these red-spotted ones are different from the tiger-striped tribe. And he said the seven T-Rexes. Folklet. And obviously, the Alberta. Not all the original species survived. In the end, only a few adjusted to the new world. And these became dominant. All right. About half Not a clip. all the species survived. I wonder which ones. That would be really interesting to find out is just which dinosaurs. Mi wow, I dropped my gun again? About half a clip. Which dinosaurs didn't make it to maturity? Fascinating stuff, man. Like I said, this would be really cool to see redone and reused, obviously. Retool Hammond's diaries, the memoirs of Jurassic Park, into a brand new experience. Maybe as groundbreaking as this tried to be. This is a groundbreaking game. It's just it failed. Showers, mm. coffee, air conditioning, almost there. Use on Lev? Alright, I dropped that on purpose that time. Okay. I think what they want us to do is go over. So let's go ahead and save. Whoa. Let's save one more time. New quote. Ah, <laughs> I'm trying as hard as I can to think of more Lost World quotes. Uh, all right, there we go. That worked. Where we're going is the only place in the world where the geese chase you. All right, this is obvi seriously dangerous. <laughs> Paul Kirby. Yep, I was right. Okay. All right, guys. Ooh, this looks interesting. And that was all of level three of Trespasser. This game is really, really becoming fascinating to me. It's, yeah, like I said, probably one of my favorite Jurassic Park games as of now. All right, guys. We just saved, so I don't think it's really optimum to save again. But I'll see you all in the next one. So this was definitely an interesting way to end a level. By far, the coolest thing that I've come across so far in this game is the wrecked helicopter that can be found in that big raptor nest. While we don't get too much information as to what exactly went down during their mission, I do know that later on in the game, we're supposed to find the corpse of one of the guys that got away, only to die someplace else. Apparently, these guys flew over to Site B sometime after the debacle of 1989, but before the events of The Lost World. Pretty cool world building that I greatly appreciate. As for our first encounter with an Albertosaur, I honestly thought he was relatively easy to take out once you jump into the back of the Jeep, and yeah, that was <laughs> pretty simple if you ask me. Oh yeah, and it turns out that this black thing actually was the monolith from 2001. What a super weird easter egg to drop into the middle of Isla Sorna. Oh, and the large plane that I got the AK-47 out of happened to belong to some smugglers who were trafficking drugs around the islands. Landing on Site B was probably way worse than getting busted and thrown in jail though. So yeah, I gotta say, I am really loving this game. Big thanks to the guys over at Trescom for helping me sort everything out and being super helpful in this playthrough. From my understanding, we're about to enter the famous Injin Town, an early version of the Worker Village. So this should be a very interesting bit of old Jurassic Park lore. Now before I go, I want to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. It really means the world to me that you guys appreciate what I do so much, and I seriously am extremely thankful for everything that you guys do to help. Honestly, it means the world. 
Now I'd like to thank you all for watching this video, and hope that you all enjoyed today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.